I suppose he was my life, really. Everything revolved around him. Instead of acting like a lion, he'd act like a soppy pussycat. Put his head against me, oh, rub his head and moan and groan. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, you'd have to turn around and say that hernias don't kill people. But having said that, he never appeared ill to me, but yeah, he wasn't well. I mean, we thought we'd probably lose him, simply because the hernias kept popping out. He never appeared well, he was always happy. And people say probably that's why he lived, because he was happy and he liked being with me and, you know, we loved being together. But he taught me that time should go slower. If you, you sit and you appreciate things, I mean, I, one thing I didn't say to you, one of the things, Marna would go in when, it, when I'd done the bed and it was wet. He didn't. And although in that, his eyelashes went brown, in fact, but in that, he's got lovely black eyelashes to die for. And you know what? In the wet, trust me, in the wet, you'd look, I should never photograph it. In the wet, at the end of every eyelash was a little pearl, a little raindrop pearl at the end of each eyelash. And these are the sort of things that making time go quick, he could never give you. Lovely when he shook himself, because he smelt beautiful. With this marvellous, marvellous lion smell. And surely, don't you want to make time go slower? No. If you want it to pass, all it's, all it's doing is going quicker. No. I think. Uh, and he made it go slower. I thought he was dying in December 2012, and he didn't die. You know, I'd, I'd rung Martin to say I thought he was dying, and come in the next day, and he'd, he'd come to, and he was standing up. And he was a bit uh, dicky on his feet, but he was standing up. But I was off on the Friday when he fell over, and um, when I came in, he, he talked, and that was the last time he ever said anything to me. I heard him say hello, just, but he couldn't get up. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, you know, when, when, when he died. I thought, well, this is the first day of the rest of my life. And yeah, it is. I mean, it, it, as I say, I, that, 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 that I'll never have another relationship like that, ever. As I said before, I, I've been incredibly lucky. Uh, I've uh, lived, um, I've achieved a lifetime's ambition. Uh, I've lived in two worlds, Takana's world and mine, for about 17 years. I owe the park a complete debt of gratitude. I absolutely adore him, incredible. And um, uh, it's not sad that he's not about, it's just, that's just a fact of life. Uh, and. Uh, Thank you to everybody.